What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to make a typewriter effect for iMovie. Um, iMovie doesn't allow you to actually do this effect in-house, so you'll have to use another program. A program we're going to use is called Keynote. It should come on every Mac. If it doesn't, you can download it for free right now in the, uh, in the Apple Store. So let's go. Open uh, Keynote and make widescreen like you see here. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of those two boxes, delete them, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a green screen. So make your background green. Next, go to your text, and we're going to spread that out. You can write whatever you want to write. So what should I write? Let's make sure it's centered first. Uh, I'm going to write uh, middle of nowhere. The word always looks weird to me nowhere I don't know why maybe I'm misspelling it but anyway all right uh, so I'm gonna highlight it and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick a different one let's pick courier because it looks like a typewriter and let's make it white I think it'll work nicely for what I want to use it for all right now go up here to animate click it and we're going to start transition automatically add an effect and it is actually called let's see I might have clicked the wrong one. Oh, well you gotta you gotta choose it first so let's build in let's add an effect and it's a pretty easy effect it's called typewriter so we can preview it boom there we go let's choose it and then let's make it last two seconds. Let's see how that looks. I like how that looks. All right, so we want it to go forward. Uh, if you want to do an erase kind of thing, you could probably do that. Let's try it out. I, no, that's, that's not it. Um, so we're just gonna go forward, make sure we got it correctly. Boom, all right all at once. Now once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and export it. So export to movie and then self-playing. We're just going to go 1080 because that's what we want. And then next, choose where you want to save it to. Let's go to desktop and let's click type writer. Export it. It's going to do its thing and create the movie. All right, so next we're gonna open iMovie and we're gonna import our media. You'll see I have two clips already from a previous video. I'll link that right up here. Um, so let's go ahead and import it. Click this button, go to desktop, find your file wherever you hit it. And here's our file. So let's pull that down right there. And you'll see that it's green. Um, that's because we haven't keyed it out yet. So click this button right here. It's in cutaway currently, but just click green screen and we'll have some words. Maybe I could have chosen a better font or a better color, but you get the picture. Now, we'll find out right where it starts to go in. All right. And we'll let it sit for a second and then we'll find out where we want it to end. All right, so it's nice and slow. Very nice. We can even make that last less. There we go. Let's say there. Perfect. Now, I think it would look even cooler if I put it down here. Yes, very much so. All right, now to complete the, the effect, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to, I just lost it, audio. And I already have one. Find a keyboard, you know, sound. So I'm gonna drag that on down. And just kind of, oops, let it do its thing. And let's see how that looks and sounds. 
All right, just a little off. There we go. Still a little bit off. So we're going to shorten that, bring it over. I'll settle for that. That's not too bad. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you make your uh, typewriter effect in iMovie. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below and or leave a like. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.